sorry if you can't hear me very well. It's a bit blustery here. I just wanted to have a quick word. Uh, and I think the latest or one of the latest um, chats that Don has had with someone, Don Wells, he, he said, why, why would Candace lie to me, you know? Um, and I'm just trying to wrap my head around this, trying to wrap my head around what is, is this genuine or ingenious or, you know, what is behind that? Is it the need to feel that Candace wouldn't? Is it the need to save face uh, in respect of Candace lying to him? Is it narcissism? Is it, is it <clears throat> something weird about the dynamic of their relationship that even though we can kind of make some guesses that there is a lot of uh, lying going on from Candace's side at least um, is, is there you know depth to this dynamic we, we just simply can't understand purely because relationships are like that you know they're complicated and <laughs> everyone's relationship whilst there are archetypal roles and and all these things that people might be able to say break down about a relationship you know like you know, how is a relationship going to end what's going to um foretell the doom of the relationship that would be you know the the apocalyptic horseman of a relationship wouldn't it and Beyond that though, I mean just, is it just a need that Don needs to fulfill? Does he need to believe Candace wouldn't lie? Is it just too earth shattering on top of something so devastating, you know? Is he, because obviously at times it just looks like Don is repeating what Candace has said, whether it makes sense or not, and it clearly doesn't make sense. So, so what would it be? What would it be about Don and Don and Candace's relationship that would make Don think that Candace doesn't lie, or would make Don want to tell people she doesn't? Candace clearly has this life that is her own. She clearly has this kind of secret life, I think, you know, um, for reasons of her own, you know. And um, it's very likely she, she doesn't want to be in a marriage with Don. Uh, how would that make her feel about her daughter Summer? I mean, it might not affect that negatively at all. Uh, but if, for example, just if, as an example, Candace is relate, um, responsible for Summer going missing, you know, or Candace and Candy, uh, everything is at stake for Candace. Of course, she needs Don to believe her. And Would he, you know, does he because that's how he is? Is it out of desperate need to believe? Is it out of arrogance? Is it out of pride? Is it out of confusion? Uh, is it out of some bizarre naivety? I mean, he knows Candace lies to him about other things because we know, well, we... We can choose to believe stories about, say, uh, the friend that stayed, that Ali liked, that apparently Candace made a move on. You would want to sort of push this all aside and pretend it didn't happen maybe if you were done, but isn't this why, isn't this why the um, domestic violence situation uh, came about in October last year? Because, you know... Don was down in Utah with one of his sons, had um, 
separated from Candace, that's what he'd like us to believe, and uh, she was making him jealous with Jose. Um, and so he's come running back. He says it worked, it worked. Um, and that's what he means, uh, I think, when he says, and then she apologized to me, you know. She wasn't, <laughs> yeah, he beats her up and she apologized to him, but I think it's because, you know, she's um, apologizing maybe for, for having this party when people were staying there, making the moves on someone and, uh, you know, maybe being unfaithful. I don't know. It's all, I think there's a lot of ego involved, I, I, but I'm not sure. I just thought I'd say, hey, what do you guys think? Because when Don said that, when Don said, you know, Candace, she just wouldn't lie to me. I mean, that just, <laughs> that just has so many thoughts running through your head, doesn't it? You know, uh, why would he believe that if he does? Uh, and, and, and there's many reasons to think he doesn't believe that. There's many reasons to think that he, he would need us to believe that, isn't there? You know. It's too bizarre. You know, I can understand him um, using his religion, his faith as um, support, you know, and, you know, having the belief that you know, Summer is being looked after by God. He'll see her again after the resurrection of Christ. But it just seems like, uh, even as a person who, you know, hasn't had children, but, you know, I, I know, I know I would never think of a child as dead straight away, which Dom did. It wasn't the two weeks even. It was much earlier. It was immediately talking about her as if he's gone. I can see why he'd be convinced that abduction is a is a um, you know a good option because of course if you that there are so many child abductions happening at the moment and around Tennessee it's happened. Um, you'd want to believe that rather than think hey there's been foul play from within your own family. But if you've got something to hide and preserve. Um, you know, of course, you're going to go along with um, a narrative that protects you. you know. Anyway, see you later.